Hey everybody, Steve here with webstars.com. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to point your domain name to a new website by editing your DNS A records. And I'll be making these changes to a domain name I have registered with GoDaddy. Now just because I'm working on a GoDaddy domain name, don't think that this information isn't for those who have domains registered elsewhere. The DNS settings change for a given domain name will largely remain the same regardless of where you have your domain registered. Logging in and making these changes may be a little different, but the information provided remains the same. Also, before we get started, don't forget to like the video if you find it helpful, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you can be sure to find out when we release a new video. Let's go ahead and get started by logging into your domain registrar, and again, in this case, that will be GoDaddy.com. Jump over there now, click Sign In, enter your username or customer number, I'm going to enter my customer number, followed by the password, click Sign In. Now once logged in, I'm automatically taken to my products page and you can see that this is my domain name that I want to manage. I'm going to go ahead and click the manage button next to that. And from here, I can make a number of changes to the domain name. I'm worried about the DNS, so I'm going to scroll all the way down and click the manage DNS link. Let's scroll down so we can see these records. Now here's where things get a little bit different between registrars. Some registrars use unique A records for the www record and the non www record. In GoDaddy's case, they use a single A record for the root domain name and then point that to the IP address. And then for the www record, instead of an A record, they use a C name and then point that to the root A record. Both methods, of course, work great as the goal is to get the root domain name and the WW record to point to the IP address. It's just how it's executed that may be a little bit different depending on what registrar you're working with. Now to make the change, I'm going to click the edit pencil icon. I'll paste the new WebStarts A record into the value field and then click save. That IP address, of course, is 3.13.192.206. And should you ever need to access that IP address, you can do so through our help documentation by going to help.webstarts.com and clicking on the Domains tab, followed by Existing Domains. And that's all there is to it. You can see that the A record now points to the new IP address, and my www.c name record points to the A record. So anytime anybody goes to the website, whether they add the www or not, it's going to go to my new WebStarts website. Now, it's important to keep in mind that anytime you make a DNS change, be it an A record, name server, MX record, uh, these changes can take a little bit of time to propagate. Normally just a few hours, but the industry standard, just to be on the safe side, is up to 48 hours. Um, you rarely see it take that long. If it does take that long, you might want to double check to make sure the changes have been made correctly, uh, jumping back into the account, of course, to make sure of that. But otherwise, usually within a few hours, you see this working. Uh, a lot of times within a few minutes. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the WebStarts account. I'm going to click on the domain name. And you can see it's already working. So uh, the holdup isn't going to be on WebStarts side. Anytime you make these DNS changes, it's always going to be on your registrar side as to whether or not it's being slow or not propagating properly. Again, if you make these changes, nothing happens. Make sure to double check with the domain registrar and ensure that the changes have been made properly. And then you should be set. As always, thank you for using webstars.com and we'll see you on the next video.